Hello all, I am Dr. G. Devaki. In this video, we are going to discuss about Synchrotron. Okay. So, forget about this uh, wordings. Let me discuss the diagrams so that you will get clearly. Okay. So, the Synchrotron uses the she-shaped magnet. Okay. What is the she shaped magnet? This is a C shaped magnet. Okay. From this magnet is associated with the alternating current. Okay. Synchrotron uses definite shaped. Which is a definite shape? This is a definite shape. Okay. This is a definite shaped vacuum chamber. This is a definite shaped vacuum chamber in AC alternating current magnetic field. This is a magnetic field. This is a definite shaped vacuum chamber. This is an alternating current. Okay. So, this is a setup of synchrotron. Okay. Now, I am going, going to show you this definite shaped in the enlarged view. Okay. So, once I explain this, you just come forward to this one and you see the wordings that will be very clear for you to understand. Okay. Okay. So, this is that definite shape. I told you that I am going to enlarge this definite shape. No. So, this is that definite shape. Okay. This is the definite step. The steel bar. So, this point is O. Remember that this point is O. From this to red line. No, this red line is electron orbit. Means the electron is revolving around the orbit. Is nothing but a electron orbit. So, from this dark dot to this red represent the radius. Okay. The steel bar. This... Um, this one, this two is a steel bar. The steel bar inside the definite. Okay. Definite means what? This two black tube means the tube inside the definite tube electron is passed. Okay. So, what is this definite? This black and this black. Okay. If you don't know definite, I can say it as an... Uh, while we are playing the uh, games, we use uh, ring ball. Have you remember? Ring ball. So, think that as a definite. Inside the ring, there is electron passing. That is an electron orbit that here represent in the red line. Okay. Have you all understand? So, inside the definite, steel bar is kept. Because this steel bar provide the variation of magnetic field. Provide variation of magnetic field in the electron orbit only. So, this <coughs> steel bar provide the variation of magnetic field in the electron orbit. Okay. So, now see from here we are going to inject. Sorry. From here, we are going to inject the electron. The injector means we are pre-accelerating the electron. What is mean by accelerate acceleration? We are increasing the kinetic energy of the electron. Otherwise, we can increasing the speed of electron. Means we are increasing the velocity of electron. Okay. So, we are pre-accelerating the... Because we the electron have to pass from here... And it have to enter the chamber. For that, we are pre-accelerating the electron. So, the electron we are passing from here will have energy 100 kilo electron volt. Remember this. This is important. So, we are passing the electron from here. Means the pre-accelerated electrons have energy 100 kilo electron volt passing by the pre-accelerator. Okay. Now, the electron enters the chamber right so this 
or magnetic field or we can say the bending magnet okay magnetic field b which makes the electron which makes electron orbit in constant radius because it supplies necessary centripetal force to it supplies the necessary centripetal force to make electrons moves in constant radius okay and constant radius and this magnet bending magnet allows this bending magnet allows the electrons in circular motion okay and magnetic field supplies the necessary centripetal force to make the electrons moves in a constant radius okay constant radius uh, if you see my uh, previous video cyclotron there the charge particle will not be in the constant radius because charge particle will will pass uh, will get increase in radius but here see the charge particle is circularly moving in the constant radius okay okay so another one between this gap okay so now the elect we injected the electron it enters the orbital okay this electron makes this is a magnetic field it allows a uh, charge particle to pass in the circular motion and in the constant radius also so between the gap we are applying radio frequency okay between the gap we are applying radio frequency between this gap okay between this gap between this gap okay between this gap we are applying radio frequency okay which accelerates the electron so electrons will not accelerated between the magnets but going to accelerate means what i say the electrons is not accelerating inside the magnets however the electron is accelerating between the magnets okay have you all understand the electron is accelerating between the magnets which means radio frequency is synchronized okay radio frequency is synchronized what is synchronized which means radio frequency and electron frequency is at the same rate okay so electrons now the electrons enters the chamber electron now okay electron enters the chamber so while passing here it increases means it accelerated again it moving here wait enters the chamber it gains some energy again here it gains some energy again it gains some acceleration again it gains some acceleration here gains some acceleration so while passing several thousand times it gets accelerated and reaches maximum relativistic speed of electrons means the electrons um, rotate several thousand times and reaches the maximum relativistic speed okay electron reaches the maximum relativistic speed when see this is one complete revolution when i am applying when i am injecting the electron the electron is here we are here okay so this is the peak means the electron reaches high relativistic speed maximum energy end alavukku energy adanalu synchrotron mooliyama adu eduthukka mudiyuma and alavukku adu eduthukcha adukku mele it cannot be here okay so and the thousand times adu vandu rotate aayi it, it what rotate aayi it got energy so and the thousand times la idena avudu increase aayi so it got maximum energy okay reaches the maximum energy speed at the point a okay so where the cyclotron fails na the cyclotron fails here because the cyclotron cannot handle that much electrons with that much relativistic speed because the energy of the electrons also increased mass of the electrons also relativistically increased so that synchrotron was developed okay 
after the electrons are accelerated to high energy then the electron attains electron attains velocity comparable to that of light okay electron attains energy which is comparable to that of light okay so then when the electrons get accelerated at maximum relativistic speed the steel bar inside the duffnet will also get saturated okay so if it got saturated means the electron got um, become it uh, obtain very high energy it reaches very high energy then the system will not obey faraday's law of electromagnetic induction okay means as the electron gains relativistic speed the mass of electron becomes relativistic and magnetic field also increases right so this one complete revolution means this one complete revolution each revolution the electron got energy each revolution the electron is gained energy right so ele after electron reaches maximum energy the radio frequency oscillator the applied radio frequency oscillator is turned off we are going to turn off we are going to apply turn off the radio frequency and we are going to apply the large amount of current through the coil we are going to apply the large amount of current through the coil so that if you apply the more current through the coil the electron will change the orbit radius means the electron going to change the path there will be a change in the orbit radius because why we stopped the radio frequency and we are applying large amount of current inside the coil so there will be an unstable magnetic flux unstable magnetic flux phi b okay these electrons change the path okay from orbit and strike the target when so what it enters revolving 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 it got high energy and radio frequency is stopped and we are applying large amount of current and so that there will be an unstable magnetic flux so this electron going to change in the orbit radius so the electron going to strike the target we are going to remove the electron from the system by applying the large amount of current so the electron is going to hit the target okay electron going to hit the target okay when electron strikes the target the target release highly energetic x rays okay the target release highly energetic x rays so the electron gain energy okay the target release highly energetic x rays okay so 100 kilo electron volt ele energy of electrons we have injected first um, primarily the electron come out with the energy at 330 million electron volt see the difference 330 million electron volt okay however the beta tran can convert this uh, to 7 to 8 million electron volt however the um, synchrotron can convert this 100 kilo electron volt to 330 kilo million electron volt okay have you all understand the construction and working of uh, uh, synchrotron okay and another one i forgot to tell you that this uh, which is come from in con construction the duffnet the duffnet is coated with silver coating okay here there will be coated with silver coating so the silver coating has a gap where the radio frequency we are going to apply okay in order to avoid any hindrance of the electrons so that's why we are uh, duffnet is coated with silver okay so this is nothing but synchrotron okay so these are what i have told you i have written like this 
just uh, go through it okay let's see so the energy what i told see i what i told the energy of the electron while revolving around i told energy attains the maximum right so energy of the electron is decided by that electron or any charge particle energy of the electron is decided by charge particle momentum magnetic field radius and velocity okay so the energy of the particle will be equal to the square root of momentum velocity mass of the rest of electrons and velocity so m not c square is approximately equal to 0.51 million electron volt as the momentum equal to e by c okay also the momentum equal to qbr because momentum which is corresponding to uh, which is directly we can say it as a directly proportional to charge particle magnetic field and radius right so we are equating this qbr so we are going to equate these two and we get qpr so from this we are getting the energy of electron so e equal to qbrc okay qbrc okay hence i told you no if we increase the magnetic field then energy also increases so from this we can obtain the frequency of revolution the frequency of revolution so this is an frequency of revolution so f equal to 1 by t t represent 2 pi r divided by c so from this we are getting this equation okay so cyclotron and betatron are low energy accelerating machine whereas synchrotron is an high energy machine which can accelerate up to 330 million electron volt okay have you all understand synchrotron clearly okay i hope you all like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all